Heftier charges have pushed back the trial for a former state Capitol staffer in a deadly hit and run. Today, Gabriel Nastande pleaded not guilty to manslaughter and intoxication manslaughter. The 25-year-old was supposed to go to trial on Monday on a failure to render aid charge in the death of 30-year-old Courtney Griffin. The new trial date now, February 11th. Prosecutors say they have new, strong evidence that they can prove Nastande was drunk when she hit Griffin, who was jogging in West Austin back in May of 2011. Now the Griffin family has some new supporters on their side. KXN's Aaron Cargyle is here live to explain. Robert, some new faces showed up at the courthouse today to make it clear they are joining forces with the Griffin family after recently experiencing a similar loss. After Gabrielle Nastande walked out of the courtroom Friday, Courtney Griffin's family and friends gathered in the hallway to celebrate a small victory on the road to trial. This has uh, been a day we've been looking for since uh, Courtney was killed. Uh, we knew that she was out drinking the night before. You know, we had strong feelings that, that there needed to be more charges. This really came as a big, big surprise, and I, we cannot be any more grateful. Another grieving family fighting for tougher charges against a hit-and-run suspect was there to show support. Our family learned about the Griffin's plight and just felt uh, a kinship and wanted to make an alliance with them. Jackson Busenbark was the brother-in-law of Mark Go a deaf school principal who was killed by a driver in June during a morning jog on Slaughter Lane. So far, the suspect has only been charged with failure to stop and render raid. Now the Goebbels want to help the Griffins fight for tougher hit-and-run penalties at the Capitol while seeking justice at the courthouse. And the prosecutor handling Mark Goebel's hit and run case is hoping to present their evidence to a grand jury in the next couple of months. Reporting live here in Cargyle, KXAN News.